So this is a new show, as yet untitled. Going to be a weekly review of everything Manchester United. Lots to talk about this week, including this man, this man, and this crying little man. Anyway, let's get into it. First things first, we've got to talk about Alexis Sanchez. He made his Manchester United debut in the 4-0 win over Yeovil on Friday night. And you saw straight away just how much of a difference he's going to make to this Manchester United team. He was named man of the match. He got one assist. He was involved in another goal as well. Taken off and prepared so he's ready for Spurs on Wednesday night. But Alexis Sanchez hugging the left wing, playing right out in Anthony Martial's position. It's going to be interesting to see the competition between those two this season. He was just a class above. And, you know, at some points this season, Manchester United's attack has been somewhat immature. But Alexis Sanchez, a world-class, ready-made finisher, he's going to take it up a level. And you saw how happy Jose Mourinho was after the game. Cannot wait to see what he does in the Premier League. And if his debut is anything to go by, maybe Sanchez will be scoring 15 goals between now and the end of the season. Yes, please. And another man who was among the goals again, Jesse Lingard. That guy cannot stop scoring. And I've got to speak out here. I've got to, at what point do a lot of Manchester United fans hold their hands up and apologise to Jesse Lingard? The kid is in sensational form this season. He absolutely has to start for England at the World Cup. But I'm not actually sure I want him to because clearly he's going to get scapegoated. Because he has been scapegoated his whole career. Everybody's been questioning Lingard and his end product. That's been the main frustration. This year he's banging in goals left, right and centre. I don't care if he does a milli rock every single day. I don't care what he does, who he dabs against. Just let Lingard play football. When he's playing this well, Reds have got to get behind him. And I still, for the life of me, can't understand why any Man United fan are trying to criticise Jesse Lingard. Not when he's in such sensational form. Warrington Braun, brought up through our academy, been at the club since he was eight, scoring so many goals this season. Fucking give Lingard a little bit more credit and a little bit less criticism. It's due. And there's one thing we are actually looking forward to seeing Lingard and Sanchez doing the Millie Rock. You remember that Lingard did it at the Emirates when he scored. And when Alexis Sanchez was hopefully signing for Manchester United, he did this when he took over the Instagram account. Morning, Doc. Oh, hello. Welcome. You okay? How are you? How are you? Enjoy your time here. Enjoy. Enjoy the medical. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. And then he joked about it as well on Twitter. And then after Sanchez's debut, he mentioned it again. No time for the Millie Rock against Yeovil, but maybe we'll see it at Wembley if Sanchez bags his first goal for Manchester United at the home of Spurs. Obviously, former Arsenal player. That's going to mean a lot to him and it will mean a lot to United fans. I can't wait to be there. Finally got a ticket in the away end. Get in. Definite special mention going out to Angel Gomez as well. The 17-year-old came on to make a substitute appearance against Yeovil when he nearly scored within like one minute. Unreal bit of footwork from the kids. You know, his footwork is fantastic. One of the best academy players that United have got. And he brought that confidence straight into the first team. Jose Mourinho is always lambasted for his lack of youth minutes that he's given. But no manager in the league this year has given more minutes to academy products than Jose Mourinho. Lingard, his form this season, sensational. That's come through under Jose Mourinho's guidance. Rashford still playing plenty of time too. Twanzevi might have gone alone to Aston Villa, but when you see Angel Gomez coming through, that is a very, very exciting player. You know, he made his Manchester United debut last year when he came on for Wayne Rooney at Old Trafford and he replaced Marcus Rashford and he looked fantastic. I can't wait to see that kid playing regular first team football. And for me, it is a case of when and not if. I've also got a special mention here for Mr Pep Guardiola who has been saying that Man City are restricted by their budgets and restrained from signing players because of it. Hmm. Now Man City have spent more than any club in the last five years. They're about to drop 60 million on a centre-back, Imeric Laporte. Shut the fuck up Pep Guardiola about not having enough money to try and sign Alexis Sanchez. I mean, pop Kettle Black, have you seen anything more ironic and hypocritical than Pep Guardiola's comments about Man City not being able to spend because the market's too inflated? You inflated the market! The oil money that Man City's club is built on, literally built on, they built a new stadium, well, for the academy products anyway, they've built everything on oil money that's come from Sheikh Mansour. If you don't like the market, 
go and leave Pep Guardiola. But Man City, you've helped make this market. So shut the fuck up. And that's it for the first as yet untitled review. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I want to try and do this every single Monday. Bring you a review of the last week. If you like it, please drop a like on the video. It'll help and I'll do more of them. Until next time, take it easy.